Okay, my name is um Terry, and I'm here. I'm gonna be doing uh, well. It's gonna be. It's gonna contain spoilers. A review of Justice League. Now I've j I've seen it Thursday night at midnight. Um, and I did enjoy it overall, but at a certain point, something happened that kind of sullied sullied the movie for me. But we're gonna get into all that. First off, let's start with. Um, things I did like. Now, I, um, well, I did like like the character interactions. Um, and you know, I liked Wonder Woman's dialogue definitely. I feel like all the dialogue was great in this film. Like it was much better than the dialogue in BVS, which I enjoyed too. But it was just, it was just more entertaining to listen to. And Wonder Woman, I feel like, definitely had the best dialogue. But that's what makes it all the more disappointing of, you know, later on. She doesn't have the best fighting act sequences, in my opinion, later on. So, I am going to just get on into what I didn't like, because that's what's on my mind. I didn't like that um, they made Wonder Woman weak, like... The part that scarred it for me was first off, first let's start. She was spying with Steppenwolf, and yeah, she was kind of going toe to toe with him, but she was also like losing most of that fight. And then something worse happens. Let's get into it. This is spoiler, so if you don't want to hear it, click off. But basically, yeah. Um, when Superman came back and I wanted them to do this I wanted them to fight a little bit like before, like when after I seen BVS that's all I wanted I wanted that to happen in BVS and I feel like they wasted that shot in this movie like that that's that whole scene in this movie because in the comments it wouldn't go down that way and they made Wonder Woman she was pulling with all her strength and all she and all he had to do is and he didn't even budge and all he had to do yeah he budged like took one step forward and all he had to do to yank her to yank her forward was use one arm he didn't even use half the effort while she was using her full effort obviously and so and i just hate that they portrayed her as weak and inferior to superman like it should if they fought in comments which we all seen before it would not be that easy for for him just to handle her like that like for for all you fans who don't know wonder woman's feats and her um skill prowess like let me let me explain something to you her writers and creators and people who had influence on her from the beginning said that she was supposed to be she was created to be um his female counterpart his equal um because there are a few equals to superman and so they made someone that could challenge him that could go toe to toe with him and that was wonder woman now creators like gail simone and others which i can't remember the names but she said that her in terms of raw screen wonder woman was nine out of superman's 10. another person said she was 99 percent of superman's 100. so like let's keep that up why make the only woman on the team not only become a, a an objectified sub six subject of the movie like when that's not how she's portrayed at all in the movies I mean in the comics why make her that way why make her weak in the sex object cause over and over like <sighs> they had butt shot after butt shot like beginning in scenes like starting off scenes like in her ass and then and then zooming out or you know pivoting into it and then around like it was just ridiculous and I felt offended watching it I feel I felt the most offended when Superman just knocked her back all that time and then just choked her up and she couldn't do anything to stop to stop him like he is OP in the comics but so is she 
Like, she has amazing feats in the comics, and even the creators say she was just 9 out of 10. Like, even if he, even if he's stronger, she's just, she's almost as strong, so he, she would she would have put up more of a fight, and she's supposed to be the best fighter in the DC Universe, said by J Jeff Johns. And before he said that, we knew that, because, um... Even Batman has said she was the best melee fighter in the world and that he would choose to free her um, to go on the mission with him out of everyone, including Superman, because she's the best melee fighter in the world, like I just said. She and they have fought in the comics and she's rocked his world plenty of times, like in the Injustice comics, for instance. Like they were discussing it like they had a plan to put them up against each other because first of all that Wonder Woman I don't like that Wonder Woman's character because it's just all out of whack like she would not she would not support Superman even if she was in love with him no matter what he does like that's not Wonder Woman that's not her character that's not her character at the core and the Elseworlds stories are just supposed to put make um put a circumstance in front of the character so they go a different way away from the canon not change their characters completely unholy like there was no reason for her to become what she was like, she was essentially like like a mindless follower of superman like and she's a leader on her own and if he and if he went goes rogue she's gonna stand up to him and fight and die trying it, to stop him from killing people and even when um, characters like Harley Quinn got in her way and told it, that to her face, she got mad and she knew the truth. And she still chose to, to stand by him. Like, I just didn't understand that. But okay, back to Justice League. Yeah, like, she got manhandled by Superman mad easy. And I was offended by that whole scene. Like, I knew in my spirit that was going to happen um, before it did. When, they, when Batman said he had a contingency plan for um, Superman if he came back wrong and the big guns and all that, I was like, oh, they're going to fight. And and then when, right before, like, when Cy, right, right when she, right before when she put his lasso around him and he caught it, I was like, oh, I ain't even going to get my hopes up. I was like, ooh, but then I was like, Wait, darn it! I can tell they're gonna how they gonna play this. Like Superman is just the best, and nobody can stop him. And he, his, you know, his his only weakness is an emotional core of kryptonite. Like no, Super, no Wonder Woman can kick his ass, and like as she did plenty of times in the comments. Like it's it's documented, people, and people like to say, oh, she's not as durable or fast or strong as Superman but my thing is first of all first of all she is faster than Superman and reactionary and reflex speeds I mean combat speeds like her reflexes in fighting and combat is stronger than Superman's and even flashes like she's the, she's the fastest when it comes to um, reactionary and reflex speeds like, it just is you don't have to they're strong, they're faster in travel speeds, but not in fighting and combat. And we've seen that over and over in comics. Like, you don't freaking block a whole magazine of bullets from a freaking machine gun. <laughs> like, and, and that's just that was a that was a good display of her reactionary speeds. Like, she. Like it's just it's just maddening to me because I like her the most out of the Trinity and I and I don't really I feel like somebody need to be putting Superman his place when he goes rogue. I don't like the Superman. Like people are like, Oh, we finally got Superman I want it but I didn't because the Superman that says F this world and I'ma kill you all if my woman's F Earth if Lord's not here then you're not a real superhero. If you doing it for only one person, you're not a superhero in my eyes. You just you're selfish. You're doing it for selfish reasons. And like that was displayed in BVS and it's even furthered here that Lois like that's so tacky to me that like, Lois was the only one that could stop him. 
really. We all know this Wonder Woman could, could, can stop him. Like, her sword can cut his throat, as it did before. Like, plenty of times, multiple times, it cut his throat. Even her freaking tiara was supposed to be sharp enough to cut his throat. But that's besides the point. If you guys know that Maxwell Lord sequence um, comic, when she had to end up breaking his neck, you know that she was taking all his full thrust um, punches and power. First of all, you you can't you don't have any right to say Wonder Woman isn't as durable as Superman or as less durable because that's, that hasn't been proven. She she has survived the harshness of space. She has been she has survived his laser eye beams to the face. She has crashed down to earth like a freaking meteorite and burnt up. She has took nukes and warheads, explosions, and atom bombs to the face. It hasn't been a time where she hasn't survived an explosion of any kind. Just because Superman may have, um, which is not proven, has, has, isn't shown, show me where. But just because even if he has um, taken higher explosions than she has, which, if you haven't read all her comments, you don't know what she's taking. That still doesn't that doesn't put a limit on it. Like, show me her again blowing up and not being able to and not surviving it. That hasn't happened yet. Just like it hasn't happened for Superman. So, in my eyes, they're on the same level. And when asked in the comic, well, how strong are you, Wonder Woman? She said, I don't know. I haven't reached my, I haven't hit my limit yet. My limit hasn't been pressed yet. So I don't know, you know, what my limits are in terms of strength. And it's just disappointing to me that they're not going to have, like, it's it's so lame. Like, nobody can challenge Superman, really, except for Batman, kind of, with Kryptonite. Like, that's, that's lame. It's in more interesting to have someone that can challenge him. Like, he's not going to be the boss of Justice League just because he can hit the hardest. Like, no. Like, that's just wrong, messed up. And I just feel, like, just disappointed that um, she will never be displayed as, as, e as equal to Superman as she is supposed to be. She'll never be his equal in the movies, and that's Joss Whedon's and Zack Snyder's fault in the whole, and Warner Brothers' fault as a as a whole. And I feel like they should be ashamed of themselves because that's just just messed up. Like, how can you do my favorite character like character like that uh, for Superman? Like, they disrespected all of them, but they disrespected her the most. Like, um, and I actually watched Grace Grace Randolph's videos. And I didn't agree with everything she said, but I definitely agreed with what she said um reference to Wonder Woman and them um, like the characters did make her sex objects in the movie. Like it was just but like it was the camera like they had under shots of her her ass too, like be respectful, Joss. Be respectful, Zach. I really don't think Zach had anything to do with it because in B V S she wasn't she, they didn't have shots of her butt cheeks like they did in this movie and the, the camera wasn't all of her ass like it was in this movie so I really do think that's a um that's a Joss move and I definitely think that he's a pervert now like the face face first and his in her boobs which she used which she used the body double to do that like I just feel like it's just messed up and she's the only woman there too like in the comments she's they're equal in every way like they don't see her as a sex object in the in the comments like that's just the case she's beautiful she's drop dead gorgeous but it doesn't need to be said over and over just much like her um her solo movie she wasn't disrespected the camera wasn't in her ass you didn't see but she got everywhere like here there peep shows and i'm a straight man and i and i don't i didn't appreciate that because i respect this character i'm not here to get a peep show or to get my jollies off to get my rocks off i'm not here for that that's not why i read wonder woman comics that's not why i like wonder woman i i like that she's beautiful and strong and can challenge superman like 
that's that's why I'm, she doesn't need to her sexuality doesn't need to be explored and she doesn't need to be objectified like she's beautiful so what superman is hot to a lot of people so what they'll make that a point at every freaking turn uh, all the characters are attractive but she's the only one that you have to constantly say it if it's true it doesn't need to be said all the time and i even noticed that the cast during the interviews they kept talking about how beautiful she was like give it a rest i'm glad that gal in, in real life like at least what we've seen she doesn't make it a point to call herself beautiful when people call, call her beautiful she doesn't like she just she doesn't like stuck up and like she like i know she doesn't reply like that so i just don't know why like they just can't do wonder woman right like i feel like they need a big a true fan of Wonder Woman on the team to do her character right. Just as I feel like they need a, a big true fan of the actual character's core. I, I mean, like how not not people that want to change up and try and experiment. No, I won't got time for that. That's why DC the DCEU is failing right now. Because people want to put their own spin on it. Like, no. Just freaking stick to what works if it ain't broke don't fix it you're just breaking it more it just frustrates me and i just don't you know appreciate it i, I just really didn't and then after that after she got bodied by superman his every scene after almost every scene after that uh that displayed his strength and power annoyed me because i'm like we can't get this with soup we can't get this with wonder woman so and you just did you weakened her to uplift him and to make batman more relevant like she like she would need him to save her from a parademon no uh, and soup and steppenwolf was getting the best of her every time they fought and she would need help or something like they made her struggle against Steppenwolf so freaking much. But then Superman, he didn't struggle not once. Like he just came, flew in, and beat his ass. Like it's just so ridiculous. Like <sighs> you know what? Um, Zack Snyder should be the choreographer. For like all the action scenes, like they're in charge of action, the action shots, so they make it great and the visuals great. He doesn't need to be involved with the story, and neither does Josh. Josh was a um, Trojan horse. Like everybody thought that he was a, he was good for this movie, but the truth is he really isn't. He wasn't. Like he was probably came over to work for Marvel, and since DC denied him his his Wonder Woman script his, to make him, you know, the Wonder Woman movie that he wanted he's like, oh, this is my payback and I'm still on the payroll for, for Marvel so I'm going to sabotage you guys maybe that's maybe that was what he did Like, and I'm so annoyed that um, so many shots in the trailers did not make it into the movie light and I feel like we're not going to get an ultimate cut which I really want Like, I would get that I want to see the original cut of it. It wasn't unwatchable. If anything, this is unwatchable compared to that. Like, seeing something's unwatchable. Like, I'm a true DC person. I don't like... I'm not a Marvel guy. I I have paid to go see Marvel movies. That should show you that I'm not biased. Um, But, yeah, and I'm not biased. I don't wear rose-colored glasses and go into a DC movie movie and just denies denies the truth when it does something that upsets me or if it has issues i'm gonna point it out and it had pacing issues like it was jumping 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 and i was just like wait okay now we're on this scene i'm let me try to ignore that quick jump and that unnatural move transition that unnatural transition like and it just kept happening it didn't happen so much in the third act but it did happen in the first two acts quite a bit and it just i'm like uh in so many ways i didn't learn from bvs and i thought you had like the problem was not the tone in bvs it was the plot holes in the messy editing and the narrative for to an extent 
Now, I enjoyed BVS. I like I enjoyed Batman v Superman. I, I enjoyed the first viewing of it, and I like the action in it too. Wonder Woman was displayed as much stronger in that movie than she is in this one. She killed her own with Doomsday, which was, which, who Superman struggled with greatly. She held her own with him, you know, and chopped his arm off. Like, she's so fast, and Superman, like, I don't want to keep going on and on and on um, about things I didn't like because overall once I moved past um the the disrespect of Wonder Woman which just continued throughout the entire movie so it was kind of hard to uh, because even when she went to do the final blow it looked like the final blow when she flipped the sword up caught it and ran towards Steppenwolf like Superman was had enough time while she was doing that to fly over Reese's his scythe like, like she needed his help and then she jumped off it and just broke his axe I thought she was going to freaking chop his head off which would have been better but no like I would have seen if she if he froze his hand so in his sights in his axe so he couldn't hit her with it and then she just chopped his head off that would have been great because that's, that's one of women's character but like it was just and Superman and this and that like I don't want to keep going on and on about it. I will you know make another video um a podcast about it about different things aspects I didn't like I guess or just reviewing it. I just want the best for the DCEU, uh, but I just feel like. I feel like the same person who edited BVS edited this edited this movie. Like I could have did a better job than this guy. I went to school for film and I did edit movies. Like and like those transitions were just so sloppy. But on the things I did like, I liked Cyborg a lot. I liked um, Flash's connection to Cyborg. I like all the character interactions and, and all the action sequences except for when they downplayed Wonder Woman. I liked everything else really. Um you know, I heard I saw people complain about that one family they kept going to, but it didn't bother me. Like I thought it was gonna do more with the family, but then they did, but that's fine. Um I don't like how Superman and Flash how Superman was appeared to be faster than Flash because she ended up getting landing anything on him like they will keep they were right on the same pace like and then when they were racing on the pit post credit scenes like it seemed like Superman was a little bit ahead a little bit ahead of him so you know I just but I did like Flash the character he was funny for the most part except when we face when he face planted and Wonder Woman's boobs, <clears throat> but yeah, it was it was it was a fun action packed episode. I like Wonder Woman's interactions with with um side with Cyborg and Batman. When Batman started laying into her about Steve Trevor and where you been for the last hundred years and this that, I was like, no, he didn't. I was like, this that was great. That was like it got tense in there. It was, and when she, I thought she punched him in the gut real quick, not pushed him, but people are saying that, like, that um, she pushed him, but I think he, she punched him lightly in the gut and made him go all the way back like that. But, um, yeah, it was just, a, it was, I like, I laughed a lot, like, most of the jokes hit with me. Not all of them I laughed at, but I you know most of them did. Especially the do you bleed and then oh something's definitely bleeding. I liked all that stuff. Like it was definitely good um, character moments. I wish we could have had more Trinity moments. Like then we did Trinity shots, you know. Then we did like we got one. I was like finally, and it didn't even last that long, but. You know, whatever. It's like they don't want those three interaction interacting. Like we should have the most chemistry with with the Trinity than anyone else in the league. 
Like, they should be the closest, I feel. But that's just how I view it because they're the trinity, right? They're the core. They, all three, are the heart, soul, and mind of the Justice League. They are the core of the Justice League. Without those three, there is no Justice League. So, you know, um, even in interviews, they not... I haven't seen one interview where all three of them were together talking, right? If you if you have one, if you can find one out of the many, like the twenty, then please link it down below. But I didn't see it. It's just it was just weird to me. I'm like, mm, cause I wouldn't mind just having a Trinity movie. I don't even need a Justice League movie. Just give me a Trinity movie. You know, there've been so many great stories with the Trinity alone. Like it's just like with they're just you know the core of DC. So, um, I definitely hope, you know, for the DC Universe, because I think they have, like, the comics have, like, comedy in the DC comics is kind of second, especially lately, but, and it's like realism with comedy second and, you know, lightheartedness, but it's real, more, it's realistic, you know, it's more realistic than Marvel stuff, in my opinion, but I, I don't read Marvel comics, but, you know, the movie's like, comedy isn't a marvel thing but i'm sorry i'm just going on and on anyways you guys tell me your thoughts down below um and anything else you want me to talk about um you can find me on twitter at lt miller 01 and on facebook and instagram whatever i'll link it down below and you guys have a great day